Good morning, dear friends. I am so glad to be with you for a few minutes as we together meditate God's word. As we begin this new week, this is the second day and the whole week is before us. And may the Lord grant you grace and wisdom and his wonderful presence that every day you may enjoy life. Today's meditation is taken from the Gospel according to St. Mark chapter 4 verses 21 to 25. And I would like to read this passage for your benefit. The Gospel according to St. Mark chapter 4 verses 21 to 25. Verse 21, He said to them, Do you bring a lamb to put it under a ball or a bed? Instead, don't you put it on its stand? For whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed, and whatever is concealed is meant to be brought out into the open. If anyone has ears, let him hear. And consider carefully what you hear. He continued, With the measure you use, it will be measured to you. And even more, whoever has will be given more, and whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken from him. Jesus shared a very simple truth in this passage. A lamb is to be set up on a stand. A lamb is a symbol. It stands for the light of the truth. The meditation on this passage, what I like to share with you is mainly through a st two stories. But let me make this remark. The important truth I would like to convey to you is setting up the lamp on a stand symbolically means share the truth because like a lamp is for others benefit whoever walks into the room they want to see and uh, nothing is hidden in the light everything is exposed and that is what the message is share the truth it is not to be hidden or set aside for yourself today let us meditate on share the truth um, God gives us the light of the truth to the believers for a specific purpose and that it might be shared when a truth is revealed to you or uh, 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 give you the understanding to discover the truth from God's word it is for this purpose you are not supposed to keep the truth for yourself but it is to be shared god wants others to see and know the truth and know the light and um, know the purpose of light the believer must make sure that he does not hide the truth or misuse the truth. Such attitude and behavior um, will not help and will destroy oneself. If I have that attitude of not revealing the truth to others, I am just uh, sowing the seed of poison in myself and for myself to be destroyed. I want to tell you a true story in order to reveal this truth of a 71 year old woman who lived in United States in the state of Florida. It happened many years ago. She had no one in the world and it died in her apartment. Doctor's certificate said the cause of death is malnutrition. 
she died of malnutrition and reduced to a 50 pound bone investigators who found her in their uh, apartment report their report said the place she lived was the biggest mess you have ever seen I'd never seen a living room dirtier. She begged for her food and she got her clothes all from Salvation Army's free. From all outward appearance it seems that she seemed to be a penniless recluse, a pitiful unforgotten widow but that was not the truth among the dead the 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 the, uh, the investigators found two keys which led them to two different boxes in one they found 700 uh, stock certificates of a very reputed international a uh, company and hundreds of uh, cash certificates a uh, cash certificates equaling to 200,000 US dollars in the second box they found only cash and plenty of them 600 US dollars 1000 600000 US dollars and yet she died of a starvation she was a millionaire but she died of starvation and lonely and unknown She could have been living in luxury in plenty not only for herself but so many others could have been blessed by her generosity if she had lived in that way but here is a woman who stacked up all her cash and cash certificates and uh, uh, etc and she lived like a beggar begging for her food and begging for her clothes keeping her place so dirty and in a terrible mess and she reduced to be just a 50 pound bones how sad it is what is the lesson she knew the truth about herself and yet she refused to live that truth not only did she kept the truth about herself from others from the world but she kept the truth from herself she could have been she could have been owner of a palatial good bungalow or cars and other facilities not only to help ours uh, herself but also to help others she has forgotten the uh, the way to live a happy life give and share with others and share with others the truth let me tell you another story This story is about a boy of maybe about 10 12 years old and named Chad. In school nobody cared for this boy. His mother would watch her son walking behind all other boys and girls. And nobody really looked at him or cared for him. Nobody talked to him. 
and others while others were talking to each other and laughing and uh, clinging on to each other this poor boy was walking behind all of them nobody noticed him one day chad came home and told his mother he wanted to give a valentine to each one of his classmates mother hesitated she knew he would not get any her heart sank and wished he would not do this because she oh, she 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 watched how he was ignored and was not included in their company and nevertheless she went along with her son and bought everything needed and for the next 3 weeks painstakingly he worked and made a valentine present for every one of his classmate when the day came he took them and the mother was concerned she decided to make some cookies and a glass of milk as the boy would arrive from the school she couldn't see the disappointment in his face when he arrived his hand was empty nobody gave him anything but she carried a handful of presents and given it to his classmate and the mother brought the cookies and the glass of milk but all he could say with excitement was this this these words not a one not a one not a one with excitement and the mom held her tears then she heard him say not a single one was left not a single one was left everyone received a valentine gift by what is the lesson by giving away one find life didn't jesus say everyone who loses his life for my sake will find that life for eternal life with him he also said but everyone who keeps his life for himself will lose it eternally my brothers and sisters who are listening to me these stories tell you the secret of enjoying the fullness of life and uh, ultimately saving your life for eternity with Jesus Christ Jesus is uh, our heavenly uh, rules are contradictory to the worldly rules the worldly rule says you receive and then you give but the heavenly rule says first you give and then you shall receive and when we give we must give generously when you put what you want to give in the measuring it shake it press down and again shake it and fill and then give and the measure you use to give it to others the same measure will be measured for you by your heavenly father when he rewards you so if you don't want to lose at the end be generously give and especially the truth 
about yourself and about the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. If you have been enlightened concerning the truth of God and the truth of yourself, what is the truth about yourself? You are lost in sin and in your iniquities. You were condemned. You deserve nothing but hellfire. But God in his mercy and in his grace has sent his son Jesus Christ who came down to this world in, because of his love for you. God the, God the Father loves you. And then he sent, he released his son for your sake. And when his son came, he further gave himself fully and totally to use until his last breath. He shed his blood. He did not withhold even a single drop of blood from being shed to forgive your sin and wash you and cleanse you and make you worthy for eternal life with him. And this is the truth about you. And about, about what is the truth about God? God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So there is a lost soul, that's what you were. There is a loving God who came down in order to redeem you and give you back eternal life. That is the truth about God and truth about you. Let this truth be given out because a light is to be set up on a stand. So that everyone from darkness walk in shall begin to see the light and walk in the light. God bless you as you open your mouth and let others know the truth about God and the truth about yourself. You give your testimony how from darkness he brought you out of into the light. And my friends, Jesus said, I am the truth and I am the way and the life by me anyone and everyone can come to the father and be reconciled with him god bless you this is the message for you today. remember the stories i told you let us not live a lie and be lost live the truth know the truth live the truth and live forever with jesus this is God's plan. God bless you. And this is a wonderful day. Live this day in the fullness of life. Share with others the joys of the Lord. And enjoy the abundance of grace. God bless you. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for everyone who listened and who heard. And who will be hearing in the days to come. That they shall do, some, do what is right. When God has revealed to us a simple truth that a lamb is to be set on a stand. Let each one of, of us be like a lamb on a stand that others may see the light and walk in light. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Enjoy the day.